see the ramp right there. What's so. up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. If you're new here, this is Hugh. This is my Waterbox 7225 budget reef tank build. Um, this is not a reef ready tank, but I'm making it reef ready just to save a couple of bucks. But in the last video, I did a video about the LED lighting that I'm combining with the T5 bulbs up here, the ATI fixture. Now the three fixtures in the middle right there, they're Night Crew Hyper Reefs. It's a, basically a Chinese black box kind of a deal. So I got um, the middle panel for 80 bucks and the two outer ones with the three pucks. I got it for about 170 off of Amazon. I checked up with the Spectrum and everything and the Spectrum is within range to grow coral so that's confirmed and all of that. What caught everyone's attention was um, me planning to use these LED fixtures and combining it with the Kessel X Spectral Controller or Kessel Spectral Controller X. No, no, here you go. It's over here, but let me show you the lighting itself and what you have to work with without the Kessel controller. So we're up top right now, and here's the three fixtures. It's the 150, the 100, and 150. They go by watts, so Hyper Reef 150, Hyper Reef 100, Hyper Reef 150. I think it's the max watts that it could push out. But um, the control panels all the same. They all have three touch buttons up here. Um, you can see it's uh, W for white, B for blue, and M is, I think it's for mix, but it turns on and off the fixture and it allows you to toggle for whites only or blues only or a mix of the whites and blues. Now, this fixture, or the fixtures, they don't have um, a clock built into it, so it's pretty much basics, guys. You're just gonna have to toggle your whites and blues and get your preferred intensity and light mixture, and then you just kind of set it and forget it. So you set it up, and then you, you have a timer for your power plug. Preferably, you would use a smart plug like I have up here. So it's just gonna turn on and off to whatever setting that you have it at. That's pretty much it for the basic um, controllability of the light fixtures itself. It's pretty much kind of set it and forget it kind of deal. And you're just set, turning it on and off. So you don't have options to kind of ramp everything up and control one channel over the other. You're just basically setting up both channels, mixing it, and having it turn on and off to that spectrum. Now, what drew me to these lighting fixtures is the 0 to 10 um, output in the back. I can't angle since I'm up here. I don't want to trip and crash onto my tank. But um, I bought a Kessel controller, and it came with what looks like a speaker wires but that wire is pretty expensive so i went to the dollar tree and i picked up these these speaker wires you can see here i pull one out so you guys can see it's just a audio jack so plug it back in so it's transferring data i guess between all three units because I'm daisy chaining it. Um, one wire goes out to the controller and then there's another plug to kind of daisy chain each of the units. Let me get down and show you the spectral controller itself. All right guys, I'm at the corner of my tank right here. If you guys remember, I tucked all of my wiring up top and I was undecided what to do with the controller and I decided to run this channeling right here to hide all of the wires coming up. And I kind of tucked the wiring in here and dumped the controller here. 
So this is the Kessel X controller. This is going to allow us to use the timer function and then allow us to control both channels, um, the blue and the white channel, kind of individually to have them kind of ramp up and on. I haven't messed much with the controller itself. Um, I had comments of people saying that the controller doesn't detect the lamps and things like that. Since we're hooking this up to the night crew lights, uh, I wasn't expecting it to detect the lamps or anything like that, but I was expecting it to be able to control the white lights and the blue lights. Now, like I said before, I haven't messed with this that much, but I kind of got the basics and I want to share with you guys. This controller is like a hundred bucks. It's kind of rudimentary as well for the price. Uh, kind of nowadays, you're just expecting things to be touch screen. This thing is not touch screen. It's a screen up here. All the buttons are down here. So I find at times I'm trying to um, touch the screen to manipulate things, but I got to go down here and kind of toggle. It's like a 1990s style um, programming. Um, but here's the Kessel X um, controller itself. Got all of these plugs on the bottom. One's for power and one's for the 0 to 10 volt. That's the speaker wire I was talking about. If you're daisy chaining this stuff, um, go to the Dollar Tree and get yourself the wire there. It's like a dollar. It works the same. Um, this is for the power K-Link. I don't even know what that's for. But here's the controller. You got to get in. There's a dashboard to mess with things, but all I really um, want to work with is the, the programs right in the middle. So, sorry, toggle over. Oh, crap. Toggle over and I go into the tuna presets because they already got a map in there. Um, you can adjust it uh, however you want and save over it. So we enter and we're in. And as you can see, there's the map. So blue line is for the blue channel. White line is, um, orange line is for the white channel. And if you, you see the dots right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight dots to control eight hours and you can go into each dot. And like right there, that first dot is 8 a.m. INT is for the blue channel. CLR is for the white channel. And there's violet, red, and green, but we don't even control that. We're just doing two channels, that white and the, the blue. I guess clear contains all of the, the other LEDs within the night crew. Um, it has ultraviolet, blue, no, yeah, ultraviolet, um, green, and red. I guess clear will control all of that, and then INT would just control the blue channel. So right here, 8 a.m., they have INT, the blue channel, at 1. So the LEDs up here, they're clicked up at 1 for 8 a.m. And clear or CLR for the white channel is 0. You guys are following along. Let's see. See that? I was trying to click on the screen again. So you can manipulate the, the time and then your intensities and things like that. Let's see. See that? So you click to the right and you get into the color and you can manipulate however you want um, with the, the colors, the clear and the blue and the intensity. So 8 a.m. is one, but I want to show you how I can 
change the spectrum by um, turning up the, the white channel. Um, all I did was click down and hit enter and you see it highlighted right there, the CLR. We can bump it up one right there and see. Yeah, so if you put um, you put the white channel at one, you kind of barely notice it coming up. I gotta turn it up to like about seven before you start noticing the the white channel come on. At around six, it comes on. So here, I'll show you right now. This is one white channel, two, three, three, four, five. Six, you see it come on. Eight, it's 22. You see the white channel coming in right there. So I'm just I'm just using the presets right now. So I like um, the blue channel kicking on for the first hour or so, and then slowly ramping up the white channel. That's how I have my Lagoon 25. It's just basic two channels with two timers. And I have the blue channel kicking on three hours before the white channel does. And then the white channel turns off three hours before the blue channel does. So it leaves me with the, the blue pops for morning and the blue pops coming on at night. So you can get that um, fluorescent um, view before lights out. So back to here, right now, I don't have a, I don't have a par meter or anything, so I'm not really messing with the, with the settings yet. I just put it on the, on the tuna blue preset, and I let it run through it for a test yesterday, and everything ramped up and down perfectly fine for me. Let's see how I get out of here, so. You see the all dots, you can manipulate each point and then it will just draw out the graph for you. So we're in eight. Go back in. So see the ramp right there. So I can toggle between the, the points and then we'll get a visualization of the spectrum and the ramp. So. I'll do it right here so you guys can see the how I do it on the controller. It's 9, 11, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. It's off. So you guys can have a view of how it ramps up over here. I'll cycle it through so you guys can see so that's eight nine eleven one three is the same five is going down seven and then eight it's off it's pretty straightforward and it, I can confirm that the spectral controller works um, my intention to use this is to just use the Kessel map, the basic map right here, and then manipulate it to however I want it. So if I want the whites to turn off earlier, I can do that and have my, my blue show time or whatever. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the Kessel controller and the night cruise. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. I'll be sure to answer you guys, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.